treasure in this lifetime. So you see, um, all those kids, they would, they would recite Bible verses to me. And then they also prayed for me. They brought me to Sunday church. Um, they are actually um, active members of, let me find that church, Baptist Church for me. <laughs> Let me find that because um, Karen sent me the Facebook link so that I can join the Sunday, the Sunday service. So they are, they are a member of First Baptist Church for me. So this is it. If you want to... If you want to um, to search for it on Facebook, so they do live Sunday service. So um, so in a way, I was again after the depression phase. I was again, I mean, the desire again to to lead a life that's according to. God's will to live alive according to His will is again alive in my heart. Because mind you, I would say I got my depression started in 2013. Um, that's all piled up when I lost my mom, my number one confidant. Um, when I was burdened by the financial um, obligations that was left from all the expenses, the funeral, the medical expenses of my mom who had cancer and who, who lost her battle to cancer. So the financial difficulties and then I felt so alone because I'm, I'm not sharing my thoughts, my, my problems to anyone else rather than my mom and I lost her. So like the, the, the support group, the only support group that I had, I lost. Plus the very stressful environment I had in my career because I was a manager and like my my progression in in the corporate ladder was really very fast and I was like like I was getting I was getting promoted every every one two years and like all of the stress it it really was a burden to me and so um then I, I i in one in like in 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 2013 it started then building up building up and then in 2015 i snapped so and then i was i was um i was diagnosed as bipolar with bipolar disorder and then it was a difficult years following that and starting 2018, I'm having depression every month. Depression that made me lose a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities, and failed relationships. So, nagtampo ako kay Lord na parang totoo ka ba? Nandiyan ka ba? Ba't pinaparusahan mo ko? Ano bang nagawa ko to deserve all this? So, in between the depression, the hypomania, my faith is really on the rocks. Para siyang may Diyos, wala. Iniinis ko ang Diyos. I intentionally blaspheme Him. Diba blasphemy is a sin? I intentionally do that to Him, to the God. Para inisin siya in the hopes na He'll, he'll kill me. Or para matapos na yung paghihirap ko. But then eventually, you know, He never left me. He never forsake me. And I can attest to that with all of the people around me, surrounding me, praying for me, all of my friends from way back, my current friends, the YOLO family, my immediate family, my partner, my siblings, my nephews. So lahat ng mga, ya, ng mga taong yan, they kept me in their prayers, in their minds, in their thoughts. And so, talagang mabuti si Lord, napakabait niya. And I'd also like to share to you na um, I was really thankful because I was expecting one.